<coughs> Hello everyone, welcome to a little video looking at 704, which deals with two aspects of data, median and range. So I'm going to deal with range first because that's the easiest one. The range of a set of data is the difference between the highest and the lowest score. Difference between lowest Yeah, that should be end Difference between the highest and lowest score What happened there? Yeah. So let's have a look. <coughs> let's move you up here. So let's uh, say a class does a test out of 20. Um, just for the sake of doing this, we'll have a small class of 11 kids, students, um, out of 20. So we'll do 11, 18. 6, 10, 20, 9, 15, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 4 more, 12, 14, uh, someone else can get 15, and a really low one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, one more, two. Okay, so there's our 11 students having done a test. The range is the difference between the highest and the lowest score. So, in this case, the uh, highest is 20 and the lowest is 2. Difference between 20 minus 2 is 18. That's the range. Okay. Median. The median is the middle score. Our median carries with it a couple of procedures to make sure that we get it right. The middle score. There, procedure. Let's go with one. Procedure getting the median is put the scores in ascending order. Lowest to highest. Okay, very, very important. Well, all these steps are important, but you're going to miss it if you don't do the first one, put the scores in ascending order. So we'll go with two. What's next? Six. Nine. What's next? Eleven. Twelve. Oh, I forgot the ten. There we go. There's a good, good example of why you need to do it at ten. Then eleven. Then twelve. Then eleven, twelve. Fourteen, fifteen. Fourteen. 15, there was another 15, yep. What's left? 18 and 20. Okay, there's our scores in order. 2. With um, um, the median, we've got 
a set of scores are split into two halves with the median in between them. So with 11 scores divided by 2 is 5.5 or 5.5. <clears throat> now that tells me that there's 5 either side of the median. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's in our first group. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And so there's two equal groups and 12 is the median. So 12. So what I've done here, I divided the number of scores by 2. Gives me 5.5. That tells me there's Far two, five scores above the median and five below it. And so the 12 is the middle score. Five scores above it, five scores below it, 12 right in the middle. Okay. What about though, if there's an even number of scores? So someone else does the test so we're going to put someone gets um, 16 so we'll go 2 6 9 10 11 12 14 there were two 15s and now someone else has got a 16 they did the test later, and now we've got 12 scores. 2, 3, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, okay, so we put the scores in order, and then um, 12 now divided by 2 is 6. So there's 6 in each half. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There we are. 6 in each half. So where's the median? So we've got to think, well, how do we do the median when there's... Actually, the middle two scores are these two. Um, but they can't share it. There's got to be a score that's the middle score. So we have to calculate one and it is 12 plus 14 and all of that divided by 2 will be that finds the average or the mean of the two um, 12 plus 14 26 divided by 2 is 13 13 is the median. So here's our process. When there's an odd number of scores, like this one has 11, we divide it by 2, we got 5.5. That means there's 5 below the median and 5 above it. And the a score left out is the median. When there's an even number of scores, we've got to find the mean of the middle two there. 13. So that's the median for when there's an even number of scores. Thank you.